Welcome to part two of selections from Songs of Kabir, Vegetarian, Songs 77 to 100. Kabir was a great Indian poet who was fully devoted to the Creator. He was a saint who not only endeavored to live the truth, he wrote about it through his divine gift of verse. A weaver by profession, Kabir is considered as one of the world's greatest poets and one of the most quoted authors. The Holy Scripture Guru Granth Sahib contains over 500 verses by Kabir. Kabir's message is universal. Perhaps that is why many still revere Kabir as a saint, whether they are a Sikh, Hindu, Muslim or modern spiritual seekers. In India, the religious community that recognizes Kabir as their prophet is called Kabir Pant. Compositions of Kabir have been compiled into the Holy Bijak, considered as a sacred collection of scriptures for devotees of Kabir Pant. It is believed that Kabir was brought up in the Islamic faith by Muslim weavers. In the Islamic world, the name Kabir or Al-Kabir means the Great One. It is also one of the names of God given in the Quran. Kabir's writings highlight a synthesis between both Muslim and Hindu thought. He described himself as being at once the child of Allah and of Ram. Let us hear the story as told by Supreme Master Ching Hai during an international gathering in France in 2008. So after Kabir died, Muslim and Hindu fought with each other who will take the body to where. <laughs> so then uh, after discussion for a long time, the body was still laying in the coffin waiting until next morning when they decided both to come there to debate about who would take the coffin home, <laughs> you know, the master's body. And then they open the coffin, they see nothing in there. He only saw one rose in the coffin. The body is gone, just one rose. The symbol of love, eh? unification. Love is only one. There's no Muslim, there's no Hindu. The Master wanted to leave the message like that. The book, The Songs of Kabir, illustrates the mystic's thoughts and emotions whose range includes ecstasy, despair, beatitude, devotion, eagerness, illuminations, and intimate love of God. Today, we will continue to introduce you to the wisdom from the Songs of Kabir. The selections from Songs 90 to 100 reveal the importance of seeking and practicing with a perfect living master and the genuine path to God realization. Song 90 To whom shall I go to learn about my beloved? Kabir says, as you never may find the forest if you ignore the tree, so he may never be found in abstractions. Song 91 I have learned the Sanskrit language, so let all men call me wise. But where is the use of this when I am floating adrift and parched with thirst and burning with the heat of desire? To no purpose do you bear on your head this load of pride and vanity. Kabir says, Lay it down in the dust and go forth to meet the Beloved. Address Him as your Lord. Song 92 The woman who is parted from her lover spins at the spinning wheel. The city of the body arises in its beauty, and within it the palace of the mind has been built. The wheel of love revolves in the sky, and the seed is made of the jewels of knowledge. What subtle threads the woman weaves and makes them fine with love and reverence. Kabi says, I am weaving the garland of day and night. When my lover comes and touches me with his feet, I shall offer him my tears. Song 93 Beneath the great umbrella of my king, millions of suns and moons and stars are shining. He is the mind within my mind. He is the eye within mine eye. Ah, 
Could my mind and eyes be one? Could my love but reach to my lover? Could but the fiery heat of my heart be cooled? Kabir says, when you unite love with the lover, then you have love's perfection. Song 95 Came with my Lord to my Lord's home, but I lived not with him, and I tasted him not, and my youth passed away like a dream. On my wedding night, my woman friends sang in chorus, and I was anointed with the unguents of pleasure and pain. But when the ceremony was over, I left my Lord and came away, and my kinsmen tried to console me upon the road. Kabir says, I shall go to my Lord's house with my love at my side. Then shall I sound the trumpet of triumph. Song 96 O friend, dear heart of mine, think well, if you love indeed, then why do you sleep? If you have found him, then give yourself utterly and take him to you. Why do you lose him again and again? If the deep sleep of rest has come to your eyes, why waste your time making the bed and arranging the pillows? Kabir says, I tell you the ways of love. Even though the head itself must be given, why should you weep over it? Song 98 The month of March draws near. Ah, who will unite me to my lover? How shall I find words for the beauty of my beloved? For he is merged in all beauty. His color is in all the pictures of the world, and it bewitches the body and the mind. Those who know this know what is this unutterable play of the spring. Kabir says, Listen to me, brother. There are not many who have found this out. Song 99 O Narad, I know that my lover cannot be far. When my lover wakes, I wake. When he sleeps, I sleep. He is destroyed at the root who gives pain to my beloved. Where they sing his praise, there I live. When he moves, I walk before him. My heart yearns for my beloved. The infinite pilgrimage lies at his feet. A million devotees are seated there. Kabir says, the lover himself reveals the glory of true love. Song 100 Hang up the swing of love today. Hang the body and the mind between the arms of the beloved in the ecstasy of love's joy. Bring the tearful streams of the rainy clouds to your eyes and cover your heart with the shadow of darkness. Bring your face nearer to his ear and speak of the deepest longings of your heart. Kabir says, Listen to me, brother. Bring the vision of the beloved in your heart. When I was 15, I watched the documentary Glass Walls and read The China Study and then it became quite clear to me why I wanted to adopt a vegan lifestyle. Tia Blanco, vegan. Joyful viewers, it's been a pleasure to have you with us today for Words of Wisdom. 